Welcome to this Wednesday webinar, Clearing Out the Clutter, Preparing Your Courses for ISU Canvas Transition. My name is Mark Cooper, and joining me on the call today are Lori Ostel and Kathy Levitt from the ITRC. And I will give you an overview of today's session. Uh, it'll just be general information about course transfer um, from Moodle to Canvas ISU. We will talk about the steps that you need to do to get ready for to teach in Canvas ISU. Um, we will also go over some frequently asked questions um, that we've heard from various audiences since the beginning of, of this, this transition. And then we'll also provide you with links to resources and other documentation related to Canvas. I'm gonna pass it over to Lori Ostel, who's gonna talk to us about cleaning out the clutter. Thanks, Mark. So we're going to talk about how you will go about transferring your courses from Moodle to Canvas next fall. The first thing you'll do is create a backup file in Moodle, and we're going to talk more about that in depth in a couple of slides. Then you will import that backup file into Canvas. You will carefully review everything in your course to make sure everything came over, determine what you might have to manually do, such as uh, adding quiz questions or things like that. Check that everything works correctly, all of your links and your videos and everything. And then you can also use the student view to see how your students will experience your course. So some things to do before you create your backup, Kathy will talk about. The first thing you want to do is to register for the ISU Canvas Faculty Essentials. online. It's an online self-paced course, and you fill out the request form at using the link on the screen or in the slideshow. It takes you to the ITRC webpage and you can fill that out and we'll help you get that set up. Um, once you request your initial sandbox, you'll be out automatically added into the training course. So other things you can do like today, attend Wednesday webinars every week at 2 p.m via our Zoom links, or you can watch the recordings later in our training YouTube channel. You can also request, have your department chair request that the ITRC conduct a department workshop. There are lots more um, things you can do and um, information you rec can request on the Canvas transition website. You will get an email from our Tiger Track system letting you know that your sandbox course has been created and that will provide a link uh, to the essentials course and also to your sandbox. So watch for that to come into your inbox. Okay, so step two, this is the kind of the theme of, of today's Wednesday webinar, clearing out the clutter. So what you wanna do in your Moodle course is work on deleting any unused resources, things that you've been storing there in case you ever need them again, such as files, folders, videos, links. Just make sure you have a clean copy um, if you don't want to be making changes to a live Moodle course, you can also ask for a Moodle sandbox course where you can uh, import over the content from like your live course or whatever and make all your changes there. So if you don't want to monkey with something that you're currently using, feel free to go to those that form page and request a Moodle sandbox course as well. And we'll get that set up for you. And then you want to delete activities that you're no longer using. If you have assignments, forums, quizzes, those types of things that you were holding in reserve, you can uh, get those cleaned up too. You'll want to look at cleaning up your quiz bank, delete any unused questions or categories. Sometimes when you uh, import a new question bank, when you have a new edition of the book, the old one is still there. And so we could help you get those deleted out. We have student employees that enjoy doing those type of um, projects for staff. So just let us know and we can help you with that. The reason we wanna clear out the clutter, Canvas limits our, our file size for imports to 500 megabytes. That may seem like a lot, but it's really not, especially if you have a lot of resources in your course. And one of the main things that create a lot of storage issues are videos that you have embedded in your course. And so we're gonna to get to that next. 
Well, as Lori talked about, we want to relocate our videos from being stored in Moodle or possibly your Google Drive. And we wanna upload them to our new video management solution called Panopto. So it's a place where instructors can record, store, stream, and share video content for educational purposes. Because of our file limit, we are not able to host videos on Canvas and we need to link them from Panopto. So this also helps you free up space in your personal G Drive. Panopto also provides automatic captioning so that helps with some of those that some of your learners that might need captioning. Behind the scenes, as an instructor, you are able to see viewer statistics and analytics. And then we can embed in those videos some learning engagement tools. And the best part is if your video is a little bit longer, you're not going to get YouTube ads. So you're going to download your videos and save them to a hard drive or a USB. And those videos might be embedded in Moodle as a file. You might have to download them from Moodle or they might be linked from your G Drive and you'll have to download them from your Google Drive. To add them as an activity or resource, when you turn on your editing mode in Moodle, you'll be able to choose Panopto LTI and then follow the steps on the screen to upload your videos and create new links within your course. Once these new links are created, you can then delete the old links from your course and remove them from your hard drive or your Google Drive if you so choose. There's some more resources about how to use Mocto. We did do an earlier Wednesday webinar on kind of the basics of Panopto. And so if you're curious, you can feel free to check out that recording. And then we'll be doing another more advanced Panopto later on. Okay, so step four is what I touched on earlier, backing up your Moodle course. So the way you do that, if you're not familiar with it, is from within your course, you'll click on the more menu at the very uh, top menu of your course select course reuse and then from that menu you'll select backup and then you'll just follow the prompts there'll be some next kind of prompts you can choose to not bring some things over or if you just want to do jump to final step it'll just copy everything over so you have that flexibility and it will create a backup file for you it's called it has the mbz as a file type and that can only be opened in moodle if you try to open it you'll just get gobbledygook. So you'll just want to um, save that. And then once you uh, download that from Moodle onto your computer, you'll be able to see what the file size is. Uh, generally, if you right click on it, it will tell you what the file size is. And yeah, if it's over 500 megabytes, you'll just need to go back and remove more items. You might have to take some items off temporarily and then add them back into Canvas after you've done the backup. There is a document on backing up and restoring a Moodle course. And so feel free to click on that link and it will walk you through those steps. We have beautiful documents with screenshots and everything in them. So feel free to take advantage of that. So we're already to frequently asked questions. Yep, that was sorry. quick. We often get, will all of my Moodle activities, resources, and quiz questions import correctly into Canvas? And the answer is about 60% of your items will import without any major problems. However, there are resources and activities that are not going to transfer. The book, glossary, H5P activities, lessons, feedback, choice, workshop, and attendance. That link right there that says Moodle to Canvas document that gives you more details about what works and what doesn't and what you should do. And so then we do have additional tools that are going to be available in Canvas ISU, such as Design Plus, You Do It Advantage, which is an accessibility checker, Atomic Assessments, and Atomic Polls. And we will have more webinars and information about those coming up in the next few months. There's been some confusion about whether we can teach in Canvas in the spring, and the answer is no. Um, Dr. Adam Bradford, ISU's interim provost, recently made the decision that all courses will be taught in Canvas ISU starting in the fall 2025, 2025 semester, and all spring courses will still be taught in Moodle ISU. And the main reason for that is the book bundle, 
we can only have the book bundle in one learning management system at a time. That's just a limitation with the book bundle software. Um, and also we just wanna make it as least confusing as possible for students. We don't want them to have to be able to figure out which learning management they're in. When we did the pilot a couple summers ago, we had students in both and there was a lot of confusion. Some students didn't even know they were supposed to log into Moodle. They completely missed that aspect of their course. And so those are the reasons I believe that he made that decision. Another question we're getting, will the ITRC upload my courses into Canvas? We would like to be able to do that, but we just don't have the manpower and the bandwidth to do that. So faculty will, will be responsible for uploading their own courses into Canvas. However, the ITRC team is here to help with any issues that arise during the transfer. Um, you can come to our drop-in lab. You can use our ITRC webpage, click about staff and um, schedule an appointment with any of us and we'll be online to help you with that. We'll also be having some curious about Canvas sessions that will be at set times that you can join in. And we also have a Canvas transition webpage. And if you haven't noticed that or gone to that, here's the link. And we are always updating that with the latest information and links and all those types of things. You might wanna just bookmark that and keep it handy as we're going through this transition. There are no other questions. I will talk to you about how you can learn more about the Canvas transition. You can learn more about how to take your course from Moodle to Canvas and anything else related to the work that we do in the ITRC simply by accessing the links within this within this presentation. You can access Tiger Tracks, which are how-to guides at your fingertips where you can learn specific functions you have access to our Wednesday webinar video library and also access to a schedule of future Wednesday webinars. So please take a look at that and, and join us. We'd love to have this nice, huge audience today. You can also meet with us anytime. I'm sure a lot of you do already know this, um, but you can meet with um, somebody from the ITRC by sending an email question or a concern you can give us a call. You can come down and visit us in person at the O'Bowler Library in the basement of that building, or you can schedule an on-demand appointment by Zoom, by phone, or in person with a specific person or a somebody who's available during the time slot that you wish to meet. And finally, please be on the lookout for future Wednesday webinars. You can watch for the articles in the Idaho State today, just like you found this one. You can also check the ISU Canvas Transition website. And we mentioned that earlier as an important resource. That is your one-stop go-to place for everything related to the Canvas transition. And we encourage you to bookmark that as that is a place that you will go back to hopefully quite often. And that's it for today's webinar. We really appreciate um, you joining us today and we hope you have a great day. Again, please feel free to reach out to us with any questions regarding your transition to Canvas. Thank you so much.